Good afternoon. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account well is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, you should be in the 2650 calls right now. Little did we know today that we would make 2625, but we knew it was coming. And you just can't underestimate um, this market right now. Uh, we came in, got long initially at uh, 2605. Up here, even when it corrected, we said, uh, don't get out of your entire position. Try to add to it at 25, 2603.05. We're able to get in in this area. Goes up. Good place to get short up here. 15 points above that. Market comes back. Hits the mid green line. Take out that bar's high. That fat bar right there. We caught some people short at the bottom of that. Definitely a B. And off to the races. We make another new contract high today. Uh, Dow's headed for 26,000. Uh, 2650 is the next stop for um, the E-mini as far as I can see. So life is good. Uh, as far as the setups today, uh, we knew we wanted to trade from the long side. Retest failure. Retest failure. 20 EMA finally. Uh, you touch it right there. Buys, buys. Uh, this trade right here you probably missed. This is a legitimate trade right here. That's positive. Mean green straight up so a strong market markets always go farther than you think they should and they stay um, at those levels longer than you think they should uh, f1 screen is going to say find a place to buy it got our move out of the middle right here f2 screen similar situation just nothing but peas behind us so <clears throat> Is that late push up? Um, I don't know where we're going to close, but on the assumption that we're going to close here at 26, we're going to 29s, 31, sell 1, 34, 36, sell 2. Um, on the buy side, be buying 20s to 22s and 15 to 17. Okay, tomorrow, second report, GDP 3.3, deflator 2.2, corporate profits, don't know, we're 7.4 on last report, that was down from the preceding quarter, pending home sales plus a percent, and we've got crude oil inventories, uh, the focus will be GDP, and corporate profits and pending home sales. Uh, usually when we had a move like this of this magnitude, um, we're up 20 points, made new highs. If we don't get new buying immediately in the morning, uh, the market will probably pause. But we're along the uh, 26, 25 calls right now. Rolled the 2,600 calls up. And we're out of the 26, 25s. We're into the 26, 50s. I'm markets telling us the tax bill is going to pass and the government shutdown if there is to going to be one won't matter it never matters everybody knows that it's just that mainstream media and the Democrats that gives them something to get very very excited about higher low higher high uh, generally on treasuries that would mean find a place to buy it tomorrow is settlement day my guess is the market will move sideways. Yellen's on at 10 a.m. Um, Eastern. We'll be talking about the economic outlook. It'll be positive. Labor market, market tightening. Uh, everything looks good to the upside. A um, little bit concerned about inflation uh, not being 2%.
and tomorrow we'll have the GD report where it's the deflators forecast to be at 2.2 percent. So we'll see what we get. F2 screen. Uh, we said the auction was weak. Market came off quite a bit from that. Uh, we do have news tomorrow. Last rotate up stopped at 01. Then at three and a half, so selling the buck to 04 is sell one. Seven to eleven sell two. On the buy side, 25, 29 buy one. And um, 17, 21 buy two. I'm looking for a pause day tomorrow uh, as everybody settles up. Looking at the 30 year. Last rotate up was at 15. We're currently at 10, so 12 to 16 is number 1. 1923 cell 1. 2731 cell 2. On the buy side, the buck to 04 is number 1. 2529 buy 1. We'll make 17 to 21 buy 2. We'll just play for a pause day tomorrow. Gold, we rolled to the February contract tomorrow. So when you get everything all cleaned up this afternoon and get ready to shut down, put the um, February of 2018, the G contract, um, into your software. So it will all be all up and ready for you tomorrow morning. Inside day, find a place to trade it off the F1 screen. Uh, didn't have a lot to work with. Had lots of big bars. Uh, the false Brexit order. I just, well, I think we had six fat bars today in this contract. So it's a sell at 95, 97, 9901, sell two. The buy side will make it 89 to 91, buy one. And 85, 87, buy two. Probably in a trading range, so we see if Trump's package does pass this week. Um, the uh, two Republican senators that are holding out, one of them I believe is from either Montana or Wyoming, and the other one's Ron Johnson from uh, um, Wisconsin. They have good points. Uh, small business is being penalized uh, while corporate America is not. Uh, so the uh, corporate corporation C corps have a much better deal than the S corp, or the pass through uh, vehicles, where you're only taxed once. And I think that probably will be be made more in line. I mean, I don't see why this government is even how they can get up there and talk about budget deficits and all that other good stuff with a straight face. Really, doesn't make sense anymore. Okay, crude oil will be tomorrow. We'll be awaiting the OPEC announcement on Thursday. Uh, there's an article out <coughs> that looks like the OPEC production agreement would be rolled for the uh, entire 2018. The market immediately sold on that. Uh, they're not talking about cuts from these levels. Everybody's counting on worldwide economic growth increasing the demand for crude oil. So I'm guessing we're going to have a trading range uh, tomorrow in, cr in crude oil. And so we have a seller at 58, 58 and a quarter. We do have the APIs tonight. Tomorrow we'll have the EIA report. 
uh, should kill trading, so we'll be looking for gold tomorrow morning. Work that one pretty heavily and kind of keep an eye on crude. 50 to 75 by 1. 57 even, 57 and a quarter by 2. And we'll look at the euro last right here. Got hit pretty hard today, just structurally. We have an attractor down here, basically 118, 118.25, somewhere in here. Um, have a seller above 119.75. Actually, 119.75 is the seller. Uh, we weren't able to take out that high right there. So F1 says find a place to sell it. And we had a B behind us. We had a B right here. Get a move out of the middle on H period. With these two Bs behind us with this move out of the middle and H period um, <clears throat> gave us a hell of a trade. Short in the uh, 1875 area, the market traded down to 1840. So 65, 75, sell one. 1890, 1900, sell two. On the uh, buy side, uh, 30 to 40 by one and we'll make it the buck to 118.10 for buy two. <clears throat> See how bright and early in the morning. We had a pretty good day today uh, and uh, able to do some damage and make our business plans pretty early in the session. I'm out of here.